we're still uh, working on our attempt to make a complete picture meaning a complete installation from wallpaper to icons to menus a look that we can have as, as a complete look a complete theme and we have these gray icons in one of the movies we have explained to you that you can uh, change these to white if you like to there is a script in Sardi folder um, where you can just run it and it takes not even two seconds and these icons here will all be white but that's not a problem now we want to go to all gray so we need to change this here and this we start from um, a folder from a program uh, sorry a theme which is already on github and in one of the movies we've put it in our hidden folder themes so we started with uh, actually a program that just can be downloaded by everybody maybe quick look where the source came from you go to add remove desktop available themes online and you get yourself minty transparent so I didn't make a thing but I'm going to change it so this one is has been downloaded from internet it was uh, eventually installed in the themes and what I did is now open it and look at the code and I'm going to share what I found how to finally change everything so that everything is gray here all right so the minty transparent first up um, I was working with sublime text which is a great tool but when working with colors not so much so what did I do I advise the following program I advise the program brackets and uh, brackets can be found on the net voila we're waiting waiting on the net brackets uh, like this Linux voila. modern open source code editor download this version and we're going to check the code in color so it's quite easy to read when you mistype something so download brackets point dot point seven but why not there was a problem and you can solve the problem on my github I have now this little script here that says if you want to install brackets then you should also install something else you should install this one lip gr crypt etc yeah so this this is the one we need also so this little script if you run it it's going to install from here the deviant package here and then this is going to be installed this is going to be downloaded from brackets the github from brackets as you can see and then everything is going to be installed and it works then what's next we have our tools we have our data so our, our data is here this is what we're going to change this is what we're looking at by the way also very important make sure that you're working on the minty transparent theme or desktop theme this one because we're going to change it and reload it and reload it and reload it till everything is fine okay I make maybe I'll just stop my wallpaper selection here because of the we need a dark one to make sure that we can see everything just fine close and then tell quit voila we're keeping this wallpaper now for the moment and um, let's start we need to run brackets is brackets already open yes it is so that's not good what you have to do is go to file open a folder go to your themes folder which is located here but it's a hidden folder so control H make sure that you can see everything Eric and then control H dot themes here it is Minty transparent cinnamon stop it, this is where you want to be and open it and this gives a nice look here on the left side what's what's inside the only thing we're going to need is the cinnamon CSS well you can change the 
PNGs, but not now. You have to do it in GIMP or anything else. We're talking about Cinnamon CSS. I have gone through all of the codes and what's necessary for me now is the following. Let's go over it. In line 171, let's scroll down. In line 171, we have our pop-up menu, meaning that's this. Okay, what's the pop-up menu? I made it a little bit bigger. So let's quickly have a look. That's the size. Remember it. Change it to 11. Save it. And here we have a little button that I always have, but maybe you don't have it. So let's make some place here so I can get to my applets. Add applets. Go to available applets online. Type in something like cinnamon. And it's one of the restart cinnamons that I use here. And if you really want to know, because both of them are installed, this one is called from Bim Sebasa. Alright, so we have changed the font size, Ctrl S, uh, and we reload. Alright, and let's have a look. Now you can see that the font is a little bit bigger. I believe that's an improvement. That just was a little bit too small for my taste. So that's that. First, changing the size of the font. Second up, so I'm going to, that's done. Next up, I was looking for this little place. I am changing everything in a kind of blue. Why not this icon also in blue? And all the text you're typing also in blue. So it's a small change, but where is this small change? We really need to go down under 1768, which is about here. There's probably a go to in the system, but I haven't tried it. 1768, one up. We're now in the menu search entry icon. So this is called, this little thing is called the menu search entry icon. All right. The blue I was talking about, I had um, decided that some time ago with GPIC, another tool, and here you see the code 6BA4E7. It's Havelock Blue. How did I do it? I went to here. I took one of the, these uh, icons here and I said I want to have that color. And that's how I had have this little code, which I need, so I copy it. Why? This color, and that's why I prefer brackets now. I, Sublime is great, but when working with colors, I just hover it. And you know instantly know, even with RGBA, what color it is. No? So that's nice. So the color goes inside. Don't type these two, two of these, but just one. Save, remember, menu, search, entry icon. This is how it looks. Reload. That's how I did it. I went looking for something. I took from 10 pixels to 20 pixels and I saw what, what was changing. Or you change the color from, from blue to red, so then you see, okay, that's uh, that's changing. So you can see that the icon is changed, but not yet the font. So next up, hmm, by the way, did you notice? When you type, you see this icon here as well changing. So it's um, done, that's done. In line 1762, I found an other interesting thing here. Menu, search, entry, focus. You apply it or you don't apply it, but let's try it for uh, exercise. If you type this here, reload it, of course, save it first. What happens? 
you type something. Ooh, nice. So we're not changing too much. Little accents, a little thing, a little bit there, a little bit there to have a neat, um, well, a thing that is it's a bit more all-round and all-round blue. Next up is seven one seven three two. The menu search entry. Now the menu search entry is white, and we're going to change that as well to this. We save it. We reload it. And there we go. Everything is changed. I'm wondering what was specific about this one. I think it was the one, the, 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 this one is the normal color and that was the focus and the hover color. That was the difference. Well, bear with me. This is the menu search entry focus and this is without focus. At this point in time without, um, I did this one first and then that one. That's why probably we don't see anything at the point at this moment. Because previously I did another order. Okay, doesn't matter. Last is uh, this thing is still white and here as well. How should I change that? That is in line 313. That's really going back. 313, ah, the panel. This is called a panel and the color is defined here. In my Sardi icon theme, I have AA, 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 defined as gray. And we reload it. And at this point, I can tell that my theme is completely as it should be. We have for Sardi icons, a wallpaper, the arc icons here, and then this is gray. My uh, logo is the same gray as this gray, as that gray. You can even change the font here as well for, for this uh, little item in the same place as you found the panel here. Font size, nine points, maybe 10 points, I don't know. That's a personal choice. Why not check it? Haven't done that earlier on. But these are the little changes you can make. Not seeing too much a difference, I th think. No. But uh, that's uh, what you can do. And well, it's uh, figuring out actually what part of the panel or part of the design you're changing and or you change the size incredibly factor three or you change the color red so it it's it's um, it sends a signal this is what it, this is the part the object that is being changed and that's how you try to figure out um, what to change anyway as always have fun